Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. What are we gonna do today? No, no. <laughs> okay, what we are gonna do today is we are going to play around the chasm. So I did some investigating, and it looks like there actually isn't a next part to the Katarina quest. She's gone now. I think she went to look for her brother. I did some googling, um, and I think it said that you, you can find a letter that was clearly written to her from her brother, and there was an implication that she might not, uh, not have not have done so well. So she she's gone. But Jin Wu has part two of this other quest for us, which is I think the Beacon quest. I thought it was gonna be Jin Xiong, but she's not here. Where is she? A little bit suspicious. So we're gonna the plan for today is we're gonna do that quest first, because it's one of those daily reset ones. I think it's a three-parter, so this is part two. And then we're gonna continue with the actual like this one. When we would we saw Yen Fei down there and then Ito and Shinobu. And then then we got distracted. <laughs> so we're gonna try and finish that one. Um and that'll, that'll be good. And also What? Oh, I guess afterwards, I'll uh, we'll jump down into the ca uh, not the chasm, we're in the chasm. Uh, Enkonomiya. <laughs> you know, because why not? Oh, and also, I still think I have just enough to try one more time. Because I really want Fremenet. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, just gonna spend all of my wishes. Do, is this a good idea? No. But, but Fremenet. I, I want the tiny penguin. <laughs> so let's see. I, I just want the penguin. So please, please be friendly. No, ah, no, well. Okay. Are you also going to be friendly? No. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> That's unlucky. Oh, well, I have like zero wishes now. I do have like 19 of these ones though, so we, we can do some wishes next time. But not the Fremenet wishes, which is very, very sad. That's okay. Where, where's Noelle? Where are you, Noelle? 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 Oh, there you are. Let's, let's give you one of these. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Could be worse. <laughs> uh, you could them for 50 points. Well, you see, I don't need to click any buttons for channel points because I have infinite seeds because I am the host. So I can like redeem as many yao yaos as I want. <laughs> um, like it genuinely has a little infinity symbol. It's quite funny. Uh, oh. <laughs> Holding up to 4.2. Fair enough. I literally don't even need... I was trying to save for the Archon, but, but, penguins. <laughs> I didn't even want to, but, but life happened and uh, here we are. Anyway, um, <laughs> right, Kiko, you've sent 156 messages in your own chat and the majority of them have some very version of the word hi. Huh, how many of them are things like test? <laughs> I mean, that would make sense because I start every stream with a high and uh, it's been, this is what, stream 68? So, you know, it's about two a stream. <laughs> um, anyway, what are we doing? We're just talking to Jin Wu, that's what we're doing. Jin Wu, hello. Uh, uh, it's Jin Chiong again. She went to achieve those beacons and hasn't been back since. I gave her three extra hours knowing that dumb habit she has of running around everywhere, but it's been at least five or six hours since. Could you help me look for her? That kid really respects you, so you should have an easier time, and I don't want to have anyone get in any anyone get in trouble on my watch again. Uh, uh, what's with her running off again like that? Uh, all right, I'll go. Ah, uh, yes, silly me, I almost forgot to tell you the most important thing. She probably didn't go too far, but at the same time, where would she go? All right, don't worry about it, Jimmy. We will head over to the places where we placed the beacons yesterday first. Uh, that's a pretty good call, Paimon. All right, all right, then if you find her, please inform me as soon as possible. Okay, guess we're gonna go and look for our missing comrade. Oh, where is she? Oh, I should probably track that quest first. Um, let, let's see. Where are we? Where are we going? Uh, let's go over here first. Okay. Where's the beacon? 
I, I forgot where we put them all. And we literally are doing what we did last time, but in reverse. But I don't remember where I put these things. <laughs> okay, okay. I see, I see a beacon. Um, she's not here. Oh, we don't actually need to pick them up. I thought we were going to pick them up. But I guess this is supposed to still be like the same day, kind of. So I guess it makes sense that they're not ready yet. Um, but that, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Uh, your TikTok account has become a scrimmage simp account. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, scared to know how many you've sent. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Um, it caps at 999, so it just says 999 plus. I love it, I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, Rainbow Gekka's here. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream. We are back in the chasm trying to find the missing Jichong. No one knows where she's gone. We've been tasked to look for her. Um, and then we'll be exploring the rest of the chasm in the uh, in the context of the world quest. There's a lot of things to do down there, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, Eric, you might start saving up your private jobs. Fair enough. That's that's fair. I I really want Farina. Is her name Farina? The Hydro Archon. <laughs> I don't have any. I don't have any um stuff for that. Where am I going? Where's this beacon? Beacon? <gasps> oh, there it is. You know, I'm gonna guess she's not here. Do I have to go? Oh! Yao Yao! Okay, we gotta... We gotta heal up Yao Yao for a second. Not looking so good. <laughs> uh, comrade is Keiko's secret. Hatalia. Um. No. <laughs> um, oh, hi, Jay. Let me drink. Let me drink some water. Okay. Where is Jichong? Jichong? Really? Oh, he's not right next to the like. I hope she's not there because it's probably gonna say. I need to talk to her, and this is going to be like, you can't talk to her, you're in combat, and I'm going to be in combat with that massive ruin thing. Is it a ruin greater? I don't know anymore. <laughs> oh! Oh, great, defeat the monsters around her. Oh. At least I found her. <laughs> but also, I didn't I didn't heal up Yao Yao, this was a mistake. Why didn't I heal up Yao Yao? <laughs> oh no, Yao Yao, okay. Okay, this, this is fine, we'll <laughs> use Yao Yao. To heal herself. And then and then we can keep finding this thing. The good news is, I don't actually see the ruin thing, so maybe it, it's gone for quest purposes. Which is very convenient for me. Okay, let me keep it over here. I'm probably gonna need my um what do you call it? The my lantern. I don't have it. I'm holding the seed box apparently. So let me let me get rid of this guy. Uh, yeah. Is that is it gone? No, it's not gone. Okay, come back in. Okay, okay. Oh. I really don't like these wolves. Because they do the corrosion thing and it always... <laughs> it always saps all of my health. I'm not very good at avoiding whatever it is that, like, triggers it. Like, I'm pretty sure it's got to be, like, one of its moves. It does the corro... And I never dodge. And that means that I always get hit. And I always take a lot of damage. Which is, you know, not ideal. But it's okay. But it'll be okay. With this Yao Yao. It's usually fine. <laughs> However, standing in this sludge is also not good for me. Oh! I think I did it. Uh, oh, she's not looking so good. Come on, we gotta get her out of here quick. Can you still walk? Don't worry, I'll take you back. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, Jin Wu, and don't look at me. Don't look at me like that. Please don't be disappointed in us. The Golden City, the Black Watchtower, the Heavenly Envoys have left. Uh, cut it with the nonsense, you. What? We spent expend a great deal of energy getting her back to the camp. Kitty has given her some medicine and she's regained consciousness, but she won't tell me anything. Do you know what happened? How did she end up like that? Ah, uh, she was trapped in the black mud when we found her. That's right, and we got her out just in time. Never mind that for now. What Chung needs now is rest. Could you help me deliver this bowl of soup to her while it's still hot? It's not a very I'm not a very good cook, but I've had to take care of my fair share of miners, and no one's ever said my fare was bad. All right, go then and see if she's any better. I have to tell Muning that Chichun can't stay on the ground anymore. Ooh, 
Okay, we have some soup. Where, where are you? There you are. Hello. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Oh, so you're sorry now and not when you were running around all over the place, huh? Alright, give it a rest. Pime on. Ah, ah, I lost my footing by mistake. Funny. Huh? I know if it's not funny at all. Is your life really worth so little to you? You need rest. Jude, we made you some soup. Have the soup. Uh, Jinwoo made this. Thank you, and please help me thank Jinwoo and the others too. I'll be fine, I just need to get some sleep and I'll be good as new. I'm really sorry, could you please come back again in a bit? Oh, I thought I had to go and tell Jinwoo, but apparently not. The quest just ended, which means I am now 30 primogens richer, which is unfortunately nowhere near enough for what I need, but that means it's time to go into the chasm. Like, properly, for the quest. <laughs> what have you guys said? Uh, how do you Keiko is? <laughs> the character you're possessing after you drop them from the sky. Yeah. No, it was a yell of concern. Because, because Yao Yao. <laughs> um, Claudia is the Ed Sheeran of Genshin. That is a bold statement. <laughs> I Huh Hmm I don't know what to do with that <laughs> I I yeah <laughs> Um Jarvis you always seem to have issues with the stream it just doesn't like you Like nothing about it likes you <laughs> Something's always going wrong Oh well um... Oh? <laughs> uh, look, Yenfei is here too. Hey, Yenfei, we've sent away the people that were following you. Oh good, thanks a lot. The guy with the weird outfit seems super outgoing. Normally I don't mind making friends and I've got work to do today. Oh, so what kind of work are you doing in a place like this? Don't tell Paimon you're thinking about becoming an adventurer too. Uh, well, as a legal advisor, sometimes I also have to travel in person. I came to the chasm to deal with a will. A will? That's right, I found a will inside an old book. I'm guessing it was left by someone of great importance. It appears he lost a magical device and wished to retrieve it. Hammond didn't know legal advisors had to deal with that kind of thing. What a job. Well, execution is also part of my work as a legal advisor. Of course, cases like this are quite rare. The castle is not the kind of place you just walk into whenever you want. Oh, so you do know what kind of place this is? Eh, well, who's that? Ah, I thought I might find you here. <gasps> it's Yaman! She's finally appeared! <laughs> Whatever case you're working on in the chasm, I'm sure the US top legal consultant can handle it without my input. Huh, that's funny. I thought we'd establish my legal opinion doesn't count for anything when Yelan's around. Huh, who is she? This is Yelan. Leah's, uh, well, let's just say she works in the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I can at least say that much, right? Anyway, she's a friend of mine. Uh, sure. Coincidentally, I have something to do here as well. Seems chance has brought us together. Uh, you may not know me, Travel and Paimon, but I've certainly heard about you. Oh, really? I guess I do have many friends in Leah. You're here on business and it's my job to monitor the chasm. According to regulations, I should accompany you. But as it turns out, I have other things that require my attention. I'm afraid I can't join you this time. You may go about your business, just try not to make a ruckus. Aw, oh, that's most unfortunate. I was about to ask for your assistance. Could you spare a little time to help me take care of this will for old time's sake? Hmm, I don't know. Depends what's in it for me. Oh, fair enough. I suppose even a guide needs to get paid. It just so happens that Madame Ping gave me some nice tea. I'll treat you to a cup if you agree. Hmm. Uh, why, don't, <laughs> why don't you tell me a little more about how you got here first, then I'll... Hey, you! Uh, Ito, what's he doing back here? I know what you two did. You really tried to throw me off, didn't you? <laughs> and I thought we were buds, Keiko. Well, they're also my friends, so... That's, that's close enough. Huh? Who are you? Sorry, this area is part of the chasm. It's closed to the general public. Are you kidding me? I don't see any warning signs or fences. What gives you the right to keep me out? Kid, where there's real danger, you'll never see a warning sign. Uh, Paimon never knew this place was so important. It really is an unusual place. Yes, you this is not a place you can just go in and out of as you wish. That's also why I didn't want anyone to follow me. Unfortunately, you didn't listen. The Traveller has done a lot for Liyue in the past, and Yen Fei is a renowned legal consultant in Liyue, so I trust their intentions. As for you two... Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You trying to say I'm not famous enough and my intentions are no good? 
I don't know your background, so I can't give you free passage here. Besides, Yenfei doesn't need your help. It doesn't seem to need your help, does she? How would you know what Yenfei needs? What are you two joining the hip or something? Right. Anyway, I don't need to be in mind we just see that. In any case, as a visitor from Inazuma, I suggest you defer to, your, to a local when in doubt. Stick to the local rules and keep yourself out of trouble. Ugh, why you... Be sure not to be impulsive. She is right, you know. Uh-oh, things are starting to get a little heated here. Not good, he really shouldn't start butting heads with Yelan. Uh, it's true that we don't know anything about the unique conditions of this place, so we'll he heed your advice and leave immediately. But this really is a dangerous area. Seriously, you should put up a sign. Thanks for the suggestion. I'll consider it. Oh yeah, and what if we don't leave, hmm? Boss! Then I'm afraid things might get unpleasant. Is that so? You really think you can take the two of us? Gotta admit, I like your optimism. Although you're friends with the Traveller and Yenfei, I still suggest you heed my warning. Ha, huh, thanks for that. But too bad I'm not buying it. You're so If you're so strong, then why don't you show me what you've got? <laughs> I forgot he did that. <laughs> he just looks ridiculous. <laughs> I'm also pretty sure Yelan would win. <laughs> oh dear. Now hold on, boss. There's no need to start a fight here. Oh no, I'm going in whether she likes it or not. Huh, you think I was joking around, huh? Oh no, those two are about to go at it. Please wait a minute, you two. This whole thing started because of me. Why don't you save me the embarrassment and just... Huh? The ground is shaking. Uh, oh, it's a... Uh... Ah! Hey, stop trying to change the subject. I'm gonna... Huh? Oh gosh. It was the battle stance, wasn't it? I saw all that golden energy. Did he break the ground? Ito! Why is he like this? <laughs> Ugh, ouch. Uh, what happened? Hey, Keiko. Are you alright? I'm fine. Did we fall into this place? Ow, putting my bo books under me to break the fall didn't help at all. Uh, what's this? Uh, well, where are we? Ugh, gonna feel like in the morning. Hey, Shinobi Traveller, and my saviour, is everything okay? Is everyone okay? Well, this is an unfortunate turn of events. Hey, so uh, how far down did we fall? It seems the ground collapsed during a little confrontation up there, perhaps because we triggered the elemental forces. Well, don't look at me. If you weren't so rude, maybe I wouldn't have gotten mad. Who can put up with that kind of toot? <laughs> it's my duty to stop intruders from breaking into important places. If telling the truth sounds rude, then I'm afraid you're just a little too fragile. Hey, life's too short to give in all the time. Boss, I'm afraid you're not going to win this argument. I suggest we stop provoking her. Hey, whose side are you on here? I'm simply pointing out the facts. I understand how you feel, but you're making my life difficult by starting random fights with everyone. Eh, looks like Ito can, can't argue against either Yelan or Shinobu. He's in a real tough spot now. Uh, so Ito and Shinobu are kind of like you and me. Uh -huh. Hey, what do you mean? Don't you dare compare Paimon to Ito. Uh, whoa, whoa, what do you mean? You looking for a fight too? Paimon was just saying how it is. Everyone knows you're a bit of an idiot. Paimon! <laughs> Why are we provoking? <laughs> oh dear. Are you calling me an idiot? Oh yeah, well you're a puny little flying lavender melon. Ha! Flying lavender melon? Oh, that's it. Paimon's mad. Time to give you an ugly nickname. Uh, Bullchucker. Hmm, you better mind your manners, Bullchucker. We seem to be a long way down from where we fell. It's impossible to see what's going on about, up above. It's unlikely we'll be able to climb back up that far. We'll need to find another way. I'm sorry to interrupt your lovely little chat here, but I think there's something we need, may need to know. You may need to know. The chasm is regarded as a mysterious area at Liga. It was sealed off for years due to a mining accident. Whatever goes on down here, I suggest you remember this. You didn't see anything, you didn't hear anything, and you're not going to ask any questions. Save you from getting caught up in things you shouldn't know about. I won't treat you as hostiles, and in exchange, I hope you won't make things difficult when it comes to keeping secrets. I'll do what I can to try and find a way out. Huh? Where does she think she's going? Like she said, to search for an exit. Chances are that Yelan is the best among us at survival and handling emergencies. We should just let her go. I'm afraid I must apologise. I don't typically disclose details of a client's will to third parties, which is why I couldn't tell you the truth. I'm sorry. I came to the chasm in search of the Fantastic Compass, which is mentioned in the will. Many years ago, my client gave this magical device to someone ambitious, hoping that it would be handy in times of need. According to an eyewitness account, the person who received the device took it into the chasm and has been missing ever since. Throughout history, many wars have been fought in the vicinity of the chasm. Even if that person died in one of the wars, I still wish to do my utmost to find the device and fulfil the client's wish. Yelan's words of caution were not unwarranted. There are dangers lurking in the chasm, I'm sure you've all realised that by now. Given we're all caught up in this mess, let's try and find a way out together. 
Whatever you say, my saviour, I'll do whatever you ask. From now on, we're a team, all of us. And as for that big jerk, well, hmm, I guess that includes her too. You said Yelan works for Ministry of Civil Affairs, huh? Paimon could tell she's tougher than most, but wow, her job sounds demanding. Well, ah, she's just over there searching. <laughs> she's actually, like, doing it. Uh, well, that's what she tells outsiders. I can't disclose too much about her identity, but I'd say she's the only person who can handle this type of work. What kind of lame job would have someone go out to the middle of nowhere? Oh, Paimon knows, an adventurer. Paimon, did you just call us lame? Keiko seems to think so. Hey, what's with the face? Did Paimon say something wrong? That's literally what the two of us do, isn't it? I'm the adventurer Paimon, not you. Ugh, you're so stingy these days. Just let Paimon be an adventurer by association, okay? Yeah, she's got a point, Keiko. You're Paimon's boss. Take it from me. As a great leader, you should learn to be a little more generous. You know, let your psychic share some of the glory. Ugh, you really don't understand anything about us. Paimon's not taking too seriously. He's just joking. For the sake of Shinobu, fine. I'm the boss, so I'll let it slide. Perhaps this was yet another sealed... This was another sealed location, but an underground. But an undocumented one. What could be in here? I've got some food and water on me. If anyone needs some, just let me know. Great, you know, Bull Chucky, you may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but your subordinate here seems super capable and reliable. <laughs> I know, isn't she the best? Hey, I am... Hey, I am too a sharp tool. There seems to be an entrance up ahead with a path inside. I wonder where it leads to. Well, let, well, let's go take a look. Okay. What have I missed? Uh. Oh! <laughs> I see. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. It makes sense the Streamlab has sent about... Six a stream. Sounds about right. Actually, yeah, actually, because if you consider all the times it mysteriously disappears, and then you include all the times it starts fights, it probably evens out. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm be roasting Ito. Yeah, true. But then she's sort of equally as easily riled up because he is roasting her right back and she's falling for it and but we, we gotta yeah lamb when you said there was a path up ahead i didn't think you meant a glowing mysterious portal i don't think we should go in there but i, I don't think this is the only part we gotta go into the mysterious portal but such a bad idea <laughs> oh dear uh, who would have guessed we'd find a domain entrance in a place like this? If there's a way in, then there's a way out. Let's go and take a look. The rocks here seem to be oddly a mountain rock, so similar to what I've seen in books. This domain must have existed for quite some time now. Hmm. What's that sound? Hmm? Hmm. Oh! Xiao? What are you doing down here? Ah, oh, it's Xiao! Conqueror of demons, what are you doing here? Oh, I came down from above. I heard a noise, so I followed it here. And so you're not here by accident? Want to team up? Uh, no, I have something else to do. Is it something important? I'm looking for someone. If you shouldn't be here, I would urge you to go back as soon as possible. Are you going to tell us how? Because I thought we were stuck. We would leave if we could. But we can't. <laughs> uh, well, that's Yao for you. Shows up without warning and disappears without a trace. Another guy looked pretty tough, maybe almost as tough as me. Seems like a solid dude. Seriously, Bulls Chucker, where do you get your confidence from? Should you really be letting him go off on his own? Oh, he wouldn't listen no matter how much you tried to talk him out of it. He's super tough though, so don't worry about him. Everyone keep your eyes and ears peeled from here on out. We don't know what lies ahead, so we have to be ready for anything. Oh look, I'm happy to say we're all on the same team and everything, but could you cut little speeches and all follow the lead act? I, for one, think I should be able to look after myself. Boss! Okay, okay. Besides, the other is just looking out for everyone. You know, Bull Chucker, you're a guest here, so maybe try to get along with everyone. Ah, please, you're not a local either, Flying Lavender Melon, so stop trying to sound like one. <sighs> We're a right mess, aren't we? This, this is gonna go amazingly well. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I was probably gonna go because you've seen this before. Fair enough. Have fun doing whatever you're doing, and uh, hopefully I will see you the next time. <laughs> Oh, hello, baby Paimon. Welcome, welcome to the stream. We're uh, in the chasm. 
about to go into the Mysterial Portal, which is a, a domain. Uh, we're doing this... Is it the interlude quest? The one that has Yelan and Xiao and Yenfei and Ita, we're all in the chasm. <laughs> that quest. Um, so yeah. Wait, the microphone crackles. But why? I got rid of the thing that made it crackle before. Wait, is it actually crackling again? <laughs> oh gosh. Or was that like a one-off crackle? Because if that's not a one-off crackle, I have no idea how to fix it. Because the solution last time is still like, I haven't put that back. Oh dear. Um, what happened when you were eating hash browns or hash brown? Oh yeah, I saw those hash browns. Very jealous. I do. I love a good hash brown. I haven't had a hash brown in ages. Oh. <laughs> I know it's cake, you're not acknowledging the babysitter question. Be confused with you. I'm just refusing to answer it because I don't know and I don't want to know the answer. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be like a good answer. <laughs> okay, I'm going to guess. See, I, I would use Yelan, but I have a feeling it's going to be like the Yelan world quest. And so it's probably going to give me Yelan. So maybe I should stick with this team and see if we get a bonus Yelan out of it. <laughs> okay. Oh no, it didn't. In which case I'm going to need, it said I need water. So... I'm gonna come back in with my normal party because I think I might need Yelan. Or if not, the spirit of the thing. Maybe I should grab Yen Fei as well. <laughs> Just for like, you know, thematic appropriateness. But no, I don't think. Nah, we'll keep Xiangling. <laughs> Just a better fire user. Anyway, a certain of the domain leads outside. Hmm. Uh, oh, labyrinths like this are like Yuichi Dia. This place is actually pretty cool. If you weren't in such a hurry to get out, we could keep back and enjoy the scenery. Oh, the stairs! I skipped them, but they were there. Okay, oh, a couple of slimes. Okay. Fairly standard so far. Nothing, nothing particularly concerning. Okay, okay. Please listen, turns around Pyman of the Adeptite domains we've been to before. Could there be an Adeptus here? What happens if I rotate it again? Oh, it locked. Oh, I see. It's like we're in a playground. I'm thinking like a dollhouse in the sense that, like, you kind of. Oh, I couldn't go sideways. When you can kind of mess around however you want, you get to determine the laws of physics. You know? I'm sort of imagining that. Like, it's it's very sandboxy. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go down here. We're gonna get rid of these healer shells. Should be fairly simple. However, I'm still reeling from last time. We found out that the, the uh, healer shells are like... Immortal citizens of Cambria, I think? Like, cursed? And, uh, I don't like that. <laughs> but I can't just not fight the Hiller Charles, so... I'm gonna continue. I also am not pleased that there's, like, a constant barrier. It won't let me jump off the edge, even if I want to. Will it let me fall down the stairs? <gasps> oh, wait. Is this... Oh, I need to spin it again. I need to spin it again. Wait, how many times can I rotate it? Okay. Is that the one I want? I'm so confused. Probably not. I probably want to spin it twice. I don't know. I have a feeling I want that to be on the opposite side so that I can spin it round again. Can I fall off the edge? Oh no, I can't. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I guess, you know, now we know. Now we know. Okay, let me, let me go up here. Oh. 
Wait, I sort of assumed... Can I climb the walls? No, okay. I sort of assumed that... Maybe I span it too many times. Okay, I thought... Okay, we probably need this to line up with wherever we were before. Where were we before? Oh, over there. Okay, let me spin it once. No, okay, three times, I think. One. Two. Oh no, this might be it. And then I can go down here. I assume so. Or is this where we started? There's things, there's things. Okay, okay. Okay. This is just some simple hilly shells though. This is not Actually no, I'm gonna I don't wanna jinx it. <laughs> it's good, it's good. Ooh. I am liking the puzzle aspect though. It's very funky down here. Very, very confusing. Like, if you stop paying attention for one second, you're gonna get very, very lost. Like, I'm already kind of lost, and <laughs> I haven't left. Okay, okay, okay. Is that, is that enough? Okay. And now I can spin the thing. Ooh! Okay. Oh. oh, I spoke too soon. I hate these things. They're really tricky. <laughs> okay, let me do this. And then, let me get Ayaka involved. Let me click a bunch of things. I still think Yelan and Ayaka are an incredibly powerful combination because you can't, like, it's instant freeze. <laughs> like, instant freeze. And it lasts as long as Yelan's bubble thing lasts because Ayaka is always, like, icy. Oh, and he's on fire. No, that's fine. I'm sure. I'm sure it's great. <laughs> Maybe he'll burn himself with Yao Yao. Okay. Well, we do need to heal up Ayaka a little bit, so please Yao Yao. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, we're done. That was suspicious. Also, I did not have to use any water. What was this thing on about? Anyway, out we go. I don't know if I need my chasm exploration team because we are in the chasm, but we're not really exploring. Uh huh, wait, this ain't right. Uh, how do we end up back here again? We've been here already? Yes, it's exactly where we started. But we couldn't have taken a wrong turn, we were heading in the same direction the entire time, we never turned around. Yes, that's what I thought too. Traveller, we were going the right way, weren't we? Yes, I thought we were heading in the right direction. How strange. A legend in Azima about a merchant who was tricked by a uh, back at the Nuki one evening and kept circling around the same place the whole night, even by dawn they still hadn't found a way out. Uh, yeah, Paimon, Paimon's heard that one before too. We are all familiar with the story then. Good, because I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to us right now. But fear not, I happen to have a certain psychic who can exercise yokai and spirits and whatnot. Let me summon him real quick. Unbelievable. And only who's friends with an exorcist, what an open-minded guy. But the boss, ignorance is a virtue. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, yup, Ushi, go get that spirit! Oh, it's the cow! I love the cow! Moo! This is Ushi, an auxiliary member of the Arataki gang. Uh, Moo Moo! Haha! <laughs> oh, Ushi says hello everyone, you can just call him Ushi or Beefcake. Yeah, he's got a key to the direction, so I'll let him lead the way. I didn't know gangs have auxiliary members. This does not have the trappings of something that's gonna work. You're telling me. Alright, go Ushi, go find us another way out of here. Moo! <laughs> Ushi begins looking around for a hidden exit. Uh, moo, 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 moo. Huh, what's that really? On our way! What's wrong? Ushi says he's searched everywhere, but there's no exit. That doesn't add up. If we're able to come in, there must be a way to get out. Let me take another look. My dude, we came through the ceiling. We, we could still leave through the ceiling, but I don't know how you're gonna get up there. 
Have anyone else noticed this? We initially thought we fell in here from above. At that time, there was no way. It was way out high overhead, but now it seems even that exit has disappeared. I stand corrected. Inexplicably, inexplicably, if you ask me. It seems there's more than meets the eye with these underground structures. Have we, like, traveled to a parallel, parallel chasm? Like, one where we didn't fall down? Did we, like, dimension hop? I'm gonna take another look around. Every we look, there are just more and more rocks. Maybe we just remembered, maybe this isn't the place we started from. No, uh, what are you scared now? And uh, no, Paimon's super brave. Moo! Oh yeah, well, Ishii also thinks you're scared. It's okay, don't be scared to admit you are scared. You've got us here to protect you. I'm here for you too, Paimon. No, we can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs. Let's keep looking for a way out. Should I be used to here with my precious savior? I'll take Keiko and Paimon with me. I uh, gotta be careful, everyone. Please, there's no need to keep calling me savior. Just Yenfei is fine, Mr. Arataki. It seems as head of the Arataki gang, you possess a strong sense of leadership. Too kind, too kind, just call me Ito. Since we're a team now, we should have each other's backs. Paimon, if you feel scared again, I can cut your eyes for you. Aww. Okay, we split into teams to investigate, but we don't find anything. Ugh. <sighs> teams, there's really no way out. Moo. I can't shake the feeling there's something off about this place. Uh, boss, did you guys find anything over there? No, nothing. Not only that, I could have sworn I saw some shadows moving a second ago. This place better not be haunted. Probably not the right time to ask this, but Paimon just can't help it. Ito, you're an Oni. Doesn't that kind of mean everything everywhere you go is haunted? No, ignore the red horns, okay? I'm talking about spooky. Floating ghosts, now you see them, now you don't kind of haunted. Uh, Ito, are you afraid of ghosts? Oh no, boss, you've been found out. No, what, me? How no way, you're kidding. Stop joking around. Seriously, though. Look at you, Paimon suddenly doesn't feel scared anymore. Hey, Bullchuck, if you're scared, Paimon can cover your eyes for you. Maybe I should make better use of my time. Hmm, Shinobi walked off to grab a few stones, then she took out some twigs and lavender melons from her pocket. What? Oh, a fire! Add a little salt and some pepper. Oh. Oh, I didn't read what it said. Oh, are you roasting lavender melons? Yeah, roasted lavender melon is delicious. You can try some when it's done. Okay. All right, there are two types, sweet and savory. Which one would you prefer? I'm happy with either. All right, you can try them both then. It's important that we remain calm, especially when we're in the throes of a tough situation like this. If I'm reading the situation correctly, there seems to be some secret here that the boss and I are not supposed to know about. But don't worry, I'll distract the boss while you discuss things with the others. Oh, I thought I smelled something cooking. Uh, would you like some yen fei? Thank you, but I'm not hungry. You guys go ahead. Oh, and by the way, I haven't seen you in a while, Shinobu. Uh, yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? The last time I saw you was when my you taught one of my classes as a substitute while I was studying in Liyue. Substitute teacher? Ah, uh, yes, now I remember. It was during winter, wasn't it? Yes, I remember. Everyone said your lecture was very interesting. Now I think about it, I should call you Senpai. Oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> you would have guessed that we'd get caught up in such a dilemma together. It must be fate. So Yenfei gives lectures too? That's incredible. Not only that, she's funny and engaging while she speaks, and just to say she is very popular among the students. Oh, I'm flattered. I see everyone is still here. Yeah, now we sit into groups and search the area, but there's no signs of any way out. How about you? Did you manage to find something? No. And though I'd prefer not to say it, we'd better mentally prepare ourselves. If we can't find a way out, we may be stuck underground for some time. I think you might be right. I understand. <clears throat> underground space is an entrance but no exit. It just doesn't make any sense. I'll figure something out. Just give me some time. If anyone happens to find a potential exit, please be sure to take every precaution before exploring further. Uh, come to think of it, Xiao is here too. He said we can always call his name if we get into trouble. Maybe it's worth a try. <laughs> oh yeah! Hey Traveller, what's with the serious face? Did you have a plan? Well, I was just thinking that Xiao is also here, remember? Xiao? Oh right, do you want to get him to help us? I think it's worth a try. Sure, let's give it a shot. Uh, Xiao, can you hear me? Xiao? Huh, no response. Paimon thought Xiao would come no matter where we are. Oh, does that mean even Xiao can't sense our presence here? Parallel dimension! This is sounding more and more likely. I wonder what that could mean. What's the deal with this place? Hmm. Hello. That's it. I want to take another look. And this time, I, Arataki, the one and only will boss. Whoa, what's up, Sarpus? Time for some roasted lavender melon. Huh? We're trapped in life and death situation underground, and you're telling me it's time for roasted lavender melon? Moo moo. 
Interesting, you hear that? Ushi says you're completely right. Wait, hold on, whose side are you on, Beefcake? Moo! It's important to stay replenished. We must keep our energy and morale up in preparation for facing the unknown. Even Ushi knows that. Fine, you two. Hey, are you hey, are you already eating? Hold on, is it still warm? Oh, that does smell good. Mm. Fine, yeah, we'll have a quick snack and then we'll keep looking for a way out. Hey, don't eat them all. Leave a couple for me. <laughs> I love those two. <laughs> so... Oh. Uh, okay, who could have ever guessed we'd get trapped in a place like this? It's quite the predicament. For all the studying I've done in my life, all I know is how to land people in prison. I don't know the first thing about breaking out of one. I've even made a contract with my father to live a happy life. I can't give up hope now. Try and say positive. At least I've explored a new place and seen more of the world while returning, reuniting with some old friends. Huh, yeah, that's still a silver lining, I guess. Where's the end? Yella, are you in here? Hello. Our situation is grim, there doesn't appear to be a way out for now. We should be prepared to stay for a while. Fortunately, we don't seem to lack supplies, and even our motley crew is people who can keep their cool when the stakes are high. Just focus on taking care of yourselves, I'll figure out the rest. Wait till the next day? Okay, well, I, I'm gonna wait till the next day. I'm gonna wait next to the fire and the food. What happens if I. Can you put out the fire? Oh, no, put it back, put it back. <laughs> okay, we're all good. <laughs> I just needed to know. Um, okay, I guess I can have doubly roasted lavender melons. Anyway, it's the next day. Well, it's not quite, but it will be in a minute. Less than a minute, a couple of seconds. There we go. What if there's a chili? We can have it with the melons. Uh, oh, there's nothing for Paimon to do here, so boring. How's Paimon? Oh, how Paimon long stretch her legs and run free in the world outside again. You mean fly? Oh, alright, fly free then. Basically, Paimon just wants out of here. So like that whole day has gone by. Just a day? No, it feels like we've been down here for months. Maybe not months, but at least like 20 days, surely. Yo, yo, thought I heard you chatting over here. Oh, hey, Bullchucker. Well, everyone, I just completed another survey of the surrounding area. Still nothing has changed today. Here, have some water and take a rest. Thank you, Shinobu. It's easy to forget to keep hydrated down here. Ugh, out. I want out. All I want is to cruise the street and have beetle fights again. Oh, he looks so sad. The boss, remember, the, there's your image to consider. Ah, uh, but it's so boring. Walking around this hole every day. If only I could slurp some ramen and see the beautiful flowers again. Ramen? Wait a minute. Speaking of ramen, Traveller, are you hungry? Not really. I'm not hungry either, but let me pose the question this way. Who is the biggest eater among us? It's definitely not me. Paimon. Hey, what's everyone looking at me for? It's definitely not me. If anyone is, is this one right here. Oh, but what are you looking at Paimon for? Paimon, are you hungry? Uh, no, Paimon's not hungry. Why do you ask? <gasps> Paimon's not hungry? The world is ending. Hmm, if that's the case... Ah, uh, what, what am I missing here? I'm that she feels like it's been at least 20 days. Yes, I heard that too, as I was walking over. The question is, how can you not feel hungry even after 20 days? And I feel like it's only been about one day. That's also strange. Of course, everyone has different perceptions of the passage of time, but how could one person feel like it's only been one day and someone else 20 days? You know, now that you mention it, I feel like we've been here for three, four, five days, but I don't feel hungry or thirsty at all. Although I cooked some food, it wasn't because I was hungry, I just wanted to keep our spirits up. I was planning on saving our rations so we could survive a few more days, but I haven't felt really felt hungry since. Now I think about it, not only am I not hungry, but I don't feel any real signs of fatigue either. Whatever, Whether I sleep or not does not seem to have any effects on how I feel. Yes, I can cook. Resting doesn't make me feel more refreshed, and staying awake doesn't make me any more tired. Very peculiar. It's almost as if our physical state has been suspended. Ooh... Oh, the more you say, the scarier it sounds. Paimon doesn't even want to think about it. I wonder if Xiao is experiencing the same phenomenon. Hmm, what's wrong, Traveller? Did you think of something? We tell everyone that we were unable to summon Xiao. That's pretty weird. Sounds like the little dude must be in danger. But he is an adeptus. This kind of situation should be no trouble for him. I fear this problem underground is bigger than we thought. I found something, everyone. Ooh. I discovered a new path over there that seems to lead to an unknown area. You mean a way out? Oh, finally! Let's go have a look. Uh, yeah, you found something. Oh, please, please be the exit. I 
I suspect things can't be that simple, we should all stay prepared for whatever comes. Ah, Paimon doesn't see anything out of the ordinary here. Appearances can be deceiving, as I was examining the wall just now, I noticed there was something unusual about this stone. It seems to me that it's been created using some illusionary magic. Oh, hidden behind it lies a passageway. Whoa! So there really is a path behind here. Was it there the whole time? Could I have... I almost ran into that because I thought it looked like a door. <laughs> Maybe I could have! But I handed to you that sure wasn't easy to find, but at least we can finally get out of here. Yeah, yeah, thanks to Yelan. Miss Yelan's determination and I for detail are certainly impressive, not to mention you've hardly had any rest the whole time we've been trapped here. It doesn't matter, I'm not tired. Well, given we're all already here, we might as well go in and explore. Right behind you. Paimon can't wait to get out of this place. Uh, and that the authorities buy are hungry. Exactly. This is honestly once in a lifetime kind of event. What do you mean Paimon's not hungry? <laughs> oh, there's another portal. That's great. That, that's great. Oh, now once we use rock. You know, let's use a funky party. Uh, let's try... Let's try Zhongli, because I want to be able to climb things. It also says I need rock. <laughs> you know what? Why not? Um, you can't tell whether your dog is growling or soaring asleep. Aww. <laughs> Ooh. The little platform will have different colours and images match them together. Seems to be the key to solving the puzzle. <gasps> Puzzles! I love a good puzzle. If you step on the correct symbol, it'll be activated if you take damage. If you Oh, but you will take damage if you step on the wrong one. Good thing we have Yao Yao. Let's try and activate all the symbols on the platform to solve the puzzle. Okay. Touch. Oh. Where am I going? Oh gosh. Boss, is that you? Did anyone hear this voice? It sounds super creepy. I feel like I should look to the first place because I didn't pay enough attention. Wait, the world is spinning! I'm standing still! Oh, I don't... I don't know if I like this. Look at it. Whoa! How to win Keiko over and present with a puzzle? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, looks like this one... It looks like an Among Us dude. What is that left word? Let me see. Let me see. Oh yeah, I can definitely recognise that. I was trying to make sure that none of the other characters are similar. <laughs> but I don't think they are. Which means, hopefully, I can click on all the right ones. Okay, where's well, the little dude? Um, what if I step on a wrong one? Know this? Look at me. Don't make me fight you. Is there some sort of battle taking place? I wonder who could be involved. Oh, I thought that was um, Shinobu talking to, like, boss, but no, maybe it's not. I see. Okay. It sounds like these are like memories in the chasm. Oh. Uh oh. Lava Chal. No, no Lava Chal. I don't want Lava Chal. Okay, okay, okay. This, this, this is fine. Let, let's do this. And then let's do this. And then, uh, let's get a little shield. <laughs> it's not strong. But it could be weaker. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, let's do this. And then let's get Yao Yao. And let's just keep clicking. Just, just keep clicking. Okay, and I got my shield back, which is good. Um, okay. Oh no, I'm facing the wrong way. No, no, it's fine. Ooh. Oh, lightsabers on the platform. Light shapers will shine unique beams of light upon the platform opposite them. Operate these devices to control the position and direction of those beams of light. Light shapers may be used to cast the light upon the large symbols on the platforms opposite them. Uh, thereby activating the symbols, activating all the large symbols seems to be key to solving the puzzle. Uh, okay. The dog got off his bed and moved closer to me. So sweet. Oh, that's adorable. Did I already say lightsabers? Possibly. I may or may not have said lightsabers. 
Um, <laughs> you can't prove anything. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, spin! Okay, that looks like the right angle. I was wrong, it's not quite the right angle. Okay, and then where's the other one? Oh, and then exit. And then we're gonna get the other one. Okay, this one's down here. And then if we spin. Aha! I see! Maybe we can look at the things from up here. Okay, so look at the blue one. It's like four squares. Let's try and go to the blue place. Uh, no ifs still alive, why would you become like this? I won't attack you. That sounds like Xiao, could he be in trouble? Oh, that someone forgot to invite us to the fight, let's go and help him. Yeah, but how are we going to find him? Oh, Xiao is trapped down here. Oh no. Okay, there's this one. This one. Can I go diagonally? This one. Uh, okay. I guess you could just run over all of them. Like, what would happen if you did? <laughs> oh no, there's more of them. Okay, okay. This is fine. Maybe the reason they tell you to bring a uh, rock character is because I'm pretty sure Geo the Sharps. Like, you. There's something special about if you have a shield when they fight you or something. They get confused. I'm pretty sure there's something like that. So maybe that's it. <laughs> It's there in the area. Okay. 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 Oh. Okay, why not? <laughs> okay, and then we get Kazaha. I probably should have got my classic party. It feels weird without Yelan here. I keep going to use her like water attack, and it's not, it's just Jung Lee. <laughs> Very upsetting. <laughs> I got rid of the third one, but apparently not. It's still here. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Is that gonna do it? No, I do like that move. I think it looks it looks nice. <laughs> That's a pretty good animation. Um, okay, let's see. So we gotta get these in the right place. Uh, let's over here. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, no, no, no. This is fine. And then rotate. And then shift it a little bit. And we gotta go to the other one. And this one is down here. In the middle. And then rotate. Okay, so the yellow one looks like the can-can. <laughs> I don't know, it looks a little bit silly. Like little, little dancers. Let me look for them. Um, it's like two bodies. Okay, uh, and then there's this one. And this one. And the middle one. Oh, oh, hello, chat. That's not too bad. Uh, okay, let's do this. Do this. Let's do this. That. Uh, you know what? Might as well go all out. <laughs> Get Kaza has burst involved. Um. Oh, oh, that was quite quick. I hope we've already fought all the difficult ones. That'd be nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try this. Oh. Probably supposed to go over here. And then this one. Over here. Oh, not quite. A little bit more. between the characters so smoothly why thank you <laughs> um i guess it's sort of like a learned skill 
I, I don't know how. It just it just kind of happens. <laughs> anyway, what was I looking for? Um, okay, so that one sounds like an angry dude wearing a hat. Okay, we can we can find that symbol. Okay, okay, angry dude wearing a hat. Um, one, two. Oh, two of these. Okay, this is fine. Okay, okay. This is fine. We can do this. Okay, let's do this, and then this, and then this. And maybe I should climb the pillar, because I'm pretty sure plunging attacks are supposed to do more damage. If I just kind of... <laughs> I mean, why not if we've got the pillar? Okay. Oh, okay. I was gonna climb up here, but I'm, I'm failing miserably. But that's fine. So we're gonna do this. Oh, we'll get it. Ooh. Well, they made it fiery. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, that's probably good for me. Because I don't have fire with me right now. I only have ice. So if they have fire, then it kind of, uh, counters my need for it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's probably a waste, but oh well. It'll be fine. Okay, okay. Now, on to the final beacons. Where is it? There they are. Okay. And then the other one. Well, that's really long range. Hmm. Oh, I've messed up. I've messed up. Okay, I'm pretty sure this one is supposed to go... Wait, where is it supposed to go? Oh. I see. I need to go <laughs> do the other beacon. I put it in the wrong place. This beacon is supposed to go here. Now what? Like, right, since you need to know the platform, let's go and take a look. I could do with wearing a hat. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard. I'm pretty sure these are just Chinese characters. But they're like slightly not Chinese characters, and since I don't recognize them. And therefore, I just have to come up with names. <laughs> and sometimes it's just an angry dude wearing a hat. <laughs> uh, the ground has dissolved. What's down there? Is that little dude called Xiao down there? We better go help him. Hold on, something's not right here. What's this? It appears to be a small fissure. Well, that's not good. Oh, he's gonna go through it. What can you possibly find inside? It can't be a living person, can it? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that is kind of creepy. What's a Xiao ghost doing here? Conqueror of demons! Xiao, is that you? Good, trying to scare us, okay. Oh wait, is this some kind of illusion? Paimon can't touch him. Conqueror of demons, can you hear us? What happened? Are you okay? A little dude, anyone home? He isn't responding, what's going on here? You! Oh, he finally said something! Oh? We followed your voice and found you here, but it's kind of strange, we can't touch you, how did you become an illusion? An illusion? Talking about a coincidence, we were just thinking you went missing and stuff, and then we heard the sound of you fighting, pretty lucky you we found you, if you ask me. You didn't get hurt, did ya? A coincidence, wait! Something's not right, something's wrong with this domain, leave now, get out of here! Uh, wait a minute, Shell, are you hurt? If we can, we should have him regroup with us as soon as possible. That's what happened and where you are now, we'll come find you immediately. Uh, know your safety is the top priority, it seems this space can... <sighs> Classic move there. Huh, he disappeared. Where'd he go? It sounds like he might be injured, we need to go help him. And the only option we have to explore any further is through that entrance over there. 
No, he's Injun telling us to be careful. It's not like we're in any danger here. Anyway, the secret behind whatever's going on should be in this cave, right? Don't worry, little dude. Ito's on the way. He's gonna fall through a mysterious hole. That can't end well. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live, then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm GMT. Thanks again, and have a great day!